Roblox Bed Wars has a ton of really good kits. And today, I'm going to be going over 10 of the most underrated kits in Roblox Bed Wars. Now, for the first kit that we have is the Gingerbread Man kit. Now, this kit released in Season 2, and there wasn't that many good things about this kit, besides taking high ground over your enemies. However, over time, the Easy Doll GG team have decided to buff this kit like crazy, making it a super good kit without anyone even realizing. Now, when you use the gun drop item that the kit provides, you, you can gain shield, walk speed, and break speed buffs, making the gun drop a really good item to use in any game mode. The gun drop item also costs only 40 iron as well, which is super cheap. So you won't have to worry about farming up too much iron as long as you have a tier 1 or tier 2 generator. Now for the next most underrated kit in Roblox Bed Wars, we have the Bounty Hunter kit. Now this kit was already really good from the beginning, but with the recent buffs and changes to how the kit works, it became really overpowered. Now if you didn't already know, the Bounty Hunter kit assigns a random bounty to a random enemy. And when you kill that enemy, you get a bunch of random really good resources like emeralds, diamonds, and iron. The Bounty Hunter kit is a really good option for either 30v30, ranked, or even squads or duos, as you can get a ton of really, really good loot. With the new buff as well, you can also kind of spawn kill enemies to farm infinite resources out of them, which is super overpowered. Now, personally, one of my favorite underrated kits in Roblox Bed Wars is definitely the Lucia kit. Now, when you play as the Lucia kit, you spawn with a Pinata, and when you deal damage, you gain some candy, which you can put in the pinata to get a ton of really overpowered materials. With the Lucia kit, there's a ton of really overpowered combos you can do with this kit, and especially when you go into the 30v30 game mode, you can collect tons of candy, giving you tons of resources. And then you can use those resources to gear up and overpower your enemies. Now, the only real downside to the Lucia kit is when you die, you lose all of the candy that you have in your inventory. So make sure you store it away in a pinata and hope that your enemy doesn't steal it from you. In saying that though, it is a really easy kit to use as long as you get a ton of kills with this kit. And if you do, this kit is a really good option for you. Now, if you guys play a lot of squads or ranked game modes, you're going to love this next underrated kit. And that is the Dino Tamer Dom kit. Now, this kit allows you to spawn a pet dinosaur. And when activating its ability, it can blast through any bed defense, making it the best kit for bed breaking. And obviously, when you pair it with a diamond axe or some shears, it's going to be really overpowered. And for just 45 iron, which is really cheap to get, you won't have to worry about farming too much iron at all and you can reuse the dinosaur at any time but with a slight small cooldown the dino tamer dom kit is one of the only kits that can break every single block in the game besides bedrock of course making it super useful in a ranked game mode now for this next kit it's a really special kit because i'm actually going to be talking about two kits which is the ember and lumen bundle now both of these kits in my opinion are honestly still super underrated and i don't see a lot of people here using them nowadays, especially the Lumen Kit. Now, both of these kits got a recent buff to where the swords that the kit gives you actually cost less than a diamond sword, making them super, super easy and cheap to buy, whilst still doing the same amount of damage as a diamond sword. Now, if you didn't already know, the Ember and Lumen Kit replaces the diamond sword with its own custom sword, which has a custom ability for the player to use. And when you factor in that these swords only cost like two to three diamonds, which is less than half the price of a diamond sword, these kits are really, really overpowered and really good to use. And I don't see a lot of people using them. You can also use the Ember and Lumen Kit's ability to deal with either a ranged attack or deal with spin attack dealing fire damage. Now, I know I've said this a lot, but this one is definitely the most underrated kit on this list. And I see absolutely no one using this kit because everyone thinks it's really bad. And of course, I'm talking about the Wizard Kit. Now, although you guys might be saying right now, dude, this kit sucks. No one ever uses this kit. But if you use this kit with the current meta of Roblox Bed Wars, it can actually be really damn good if you use it correctly. The wizard's ability can either be used to deal an insane amount of damage or can slow players down, which is really good to stop people that like running away a lot or to stop players from regenerating health. 
you can use the wizard's orb to slow players down while stealing damage and if you bear this with enchants or another kit on your team you can make this kit really overpowered so i'd definitely give it a go if you're playing ranked or squads now for this next most underrated kit we have the baker kit which is definitely one of the oldest kits on this list but yeah i see no one using this really good kit the baker kit is a really good all-round kit and even though it kind of got nerfed it's still really good op it's still a really good option for any game mode as you can use the apples that the baker lets you buy to quickly heal or you can buy the speed pie to outrun or chase down any enemies the apples are also relatively cheap for early game mid game and late game so make sure you stock up on those apples for late game fights there are also no downsides to using this kit at all which makes this kit a really good option now i'm sure you guys have seen the pirate davy kit before and thought that this kit was the literal worst kit in the game everyone re everyone really dislikes this kit for some reason but recently it's actually become a really good kit that just requires a lot of skill to use pirate david kit gives a player the ability to buy a cannon which they can launch themselves out of making it a really good way to chase down enemies or even rush enemy bases so today maybe on a good day it'll actually work now we can go buy some balloons oh perfect straight onto his bed. Bro, the jump was so perfect that I'm actually climbing his bed. I've got an idea, I've got an idea. <laughs> hey, as long as I get the kill, that's all that matters, right? All right, through that left window. Yes! I see a lot of pro players starting to use this kit, which is why I mentioned it on this list. Now, the next kit that we're gonna be talking about is the Ares kit. Now, this might come as a surprise to some people because a lot of people are going to say that this kit isn't actually underrated at all. Well, I'm here to prove you wrong. If you don't already know, while using the Ares kit, when you kill an enemy, you get a slight damage multiplier buff. The Ares kit hasn't gone through many nerfs at all, with the only nerf being back in Season 4 when they nerfed the spawn killing of the Ares kit. Which is why I'm still pulling it on this list anyways, because this kit has never been touched and it is still really overpowered. Oh, dang, why well, last day? Because I was about to reach 100 kills. Oh yeah, we also blocked Red Team Spawn and Tesla trapped them so they couldn't escape. At this point, I'm fully committed to getting as many kills as I can. Praying that Red doesn't have the bright idea to lead. This kit might even get its own video just because of how stupidly overpowered this kit really is. Now for the final kit, I'm going to be talking about the Vanessa kit. Another really old kit and one that hasn't really been touched for a while. Now since this kit hasn't been touched much since its release back in November 2021, this kit is insanely good if you use the bow a lot. And also with the recent bow buff, it makes this kit only even stronger in ranked, solos, and even squads. Now if you have absolutely no idea what the Vanessa kit does, it allows you to triple shoot your bow, making it deal a ton of damage if you hit all three of your shots. And if you're playing Lucky Blocks, the Vanessa kit gets even better because you can use the Golden Bow and the Tactical Crossbow. 